Why Market Capitalization Matters. Hello and welcome to another episode on BSC's Investor Education Awareness Series. I'm Siddharth Zarabi and today we'll take a look at an important factor to consider when building a balanced portfolio of stocks. And that factor is market capitalization or MCAP. Market capitalization simply means the total value of all of a company's shares. You can calculate the market cap of a company by multiplying the price of each share by the total number of outstanding shares. If you're looking to create an investment portfolio of various companies, you need to look into the company's size, its return potential, very important, as well as the overall risk that company carries and that sector carries. With this knowledge, you can actually build quite a robust stock portfolio comprising a blend of market caps. Remember, a blend of market caps. So then why is market cap such an essential concept? Well, this is because it allows you to understand the size of one company against another. It can help you to measure what the company is worth on the stock market and also gives you an insight into what the market perceives about that company's future. And this is important because it reflects how much you are willing to pay for that stock. There are three types of market capitalization broadly based on their size, large cap, mid cap, and small cap. To ensure that the investment universe is uniform for all equity schemes, SEBI has outlined large cap, mid cap, and small cap in new definitions. So if you're looking to identify the right cap to invest based on full market capitalization, this is what you need to look into. Large cap, first to 100th company. Mid cap, 101 to 250th company. And small cap, the 251st company onwards. Large cap companies are generally organizations that have a market value of over 20,000 crore. Mid caps are businesses that range between 5,000 to 20,000 crore. And small cap firms are generally those with less than 5,000 crore of market cap. If you're looking to build a portfolio, you actually need to have a proper mix, and this is important, a proper mix of small cap, mid cap, and large cap stocks. Understand your financial goals, your risk tolerance, and the time horizon to build your portfolio accordingly. And as I leave you on today's episode, I leave you with more expert advice. Take a look. What has happened, evolved over the market, is that there are different participants that come into the market. And for example, you have at the top end, you have mutual funds, uh, FPIs, foreign investors, and you have insurance companies who are known as institutional investors. And at the bottom end, it's people like you and me who are buying and selling shares, maybe as little as one share, for example. Um, so what has happened in this case is that the mutual funds have got to a certain size. And when you've got to a certain size, you say, OK, I need to only have 200 or 300 or 400 shares in my portfolio. And therefore, if you're not in the in the top if you if I have a constraint of buying 200 shares, if you are not in the top 400 in terms of the size of the company, then I'm probably not going to be included in that list. So you have indices, BSC has the BSC 500 and a lot of these institutions actually uh, are focused on uh, those 500 only and they just look at those shares. So it is really a question of haves versus have nots. And you see this even in America, where you have the, this, what they call the FANGs, which is Facebook, Amazon, Alphabet, Netflix, Google, um, you know, they are, the, they are the stocks that everyone is chasing. And what happens is that they are the huge stocks. So money chases money and, you know, it's a basis of that. But again, you know, for market capitalization, if a, mar if a share has a market cap of, let's say, 100 crores, and I'm an institution and my minimum requirement to buying a position is 50 crores. I'm not allowed to buy half of the company. So it has to be at least 500. And if it goes to 400, I'm forced to sell. So then I'm saying, okay, I need to be at a thousand. 
so I can buy 50 crores comfortably and is that comfortable because I'm then owning 5% of the company. So that is why market capitalization matters. The other thing is larger companies also advertise in the market, their name is in this in uh, you know all over the place and people have a more comfort level. So you know again that market capitalization indirectly translates to more brand aware awareness for the company and that's another reason and the second reason why market capitalization matters.